Hey everyone, I'm Pedran. Welcome to One Nation Filmora. In this video, I will show you how to use the text option in Filmora 14. Different texts can make your visuals better, like creating a poster. I will use a various kind of text to make the poster with a great visual for user guide series. This will be a complete series of tutorial, including all about editing. It will be included three creators, useful for all users, and weekly updates. We will have an empty background for our poster, and all parts consisting of this poster will be animated from top to down. The empty background is ready, but how we can add a text layer? There are two ways to add a text layer to your timeline. The first one, in timeline we have a T icon here, and if you click on it, you can add a quick text, or you can add a 3D text layer. In second way, if you click on a title section, you can add the default title layer into your timeline. Then you can start typing. For typing, you can change your text from player window if you double click on it, or you can do it from here. And let's try it. User right 2025. On right side, you can change your font from here Or you can make your text bigger or smaller by changing the size of the font. Or you can adjust the color from here. Or you can use the color picker and pick any color in the player window. You can make your text bigger or smaller from the player window by moving these edges to a right and left or you can move it and put it anywhere you want. We have a preset tab here. You can use them to get a different look for your text, like a glow or a 3D shape. And if you want to disable the preset, you can click on this none. And if you scroll down a bit, we have a more option here to customize your text, like a background to see your text better. You can adjust the color from the here and uh, change your opacity and adjust the radius to get a curve for your corners. If you adjust the spirit, you can make the background bigger. Next option is shape uh, and you can get a circle shape or a curve shape for your text. By adjusting string, you can get a different shape for your text. Next option is bezier paths. You can adjust the pass offset an animation duration to get a slower animation. Let me put it at the middle. And if I play the video, you can see we get a loop animation for our text. The next option is outline. You can adjust the color here and uh, change your opacity. You can adjust the thickness to see your uh, stroke better. And if you increase the blur, you can see the edge is more softer. If you want to more personalize your text, you can use the advanced tab. Just click on it from here. In the advanced tab, you have more controls on your text. You can add the gradient color from here. If you click on the color field and select gradient color, as you can see, we have a gradient color. And if we move them to a right, we can change the gradient. If you scroll down a bit, you have a shadow option here and by adjusting opacity and blurness you get a lighter and softer shadow so when you are done you can click on apply and you can apply your change on your text also you can use the title templates for your project like a gaming or even subtitle but let me show you how you can use them so on a title you have a title templates tab here and if you click on it, you can see we have different categories for our title, like games, news, music, or movies. For this poster, I want to use this common text VFX title, so click and drag it into the timeline. So for moving all layers, you should hold the control key and click on the, all the layers. And now we can move them and we can put it, we can put it here. Now for the top, I want to write user 
And for the number, I want to write hashtag 2025. And for trending, let's change it to a guide. Now, you can adjust the position by click on them. And you can put one of them here. Let's put the guide right side. And put the number on the top and the user on the left to get a better looking. Now it's better. So if you want to change the color, you can use the preset tab on the right side. For user work, I want to use uh, this white preset. And for the 2025, let's use uh, this preset. And for a guide, let's change it to a blue. Now it has a better visual for our poster. So for these areas, let's add some uh, three points about the user guide series. So on the lower third tab, if you let's see which one is better. Uh, I think this DIV impact lower third is good. So click and drag it in the timeline. So we should move it up and put it here. So click on the layers by holding the control key and move it up and we can make it smaller because we need three points here you can uh, delete the extra text layer if you don't need them just click on them for example i don't want this layer and i can delete it by press back space key on my keyboard so now let's change the font from the right side so click on the text layer and let's write three creators you can adjust the shape under the text layer to get a different look we can make it bigger and move it up and you can adjust the blend mode to get a different color but for that you should do it from the video tab so click on the video tab and blend mode let's uh, change it to a linear touch and see we get a lighter color it's very cool so we need to duplicate it two times for another two points for our user guide series to get the better visuals. So for that, select your layer and move the layer up. And select both layer in the player window. And move it to the left side. But let's uh, move this layer to the left side too because I want to add a third layer on the right side. So let's put it here and put this text on this side. And let's do it one more time. So hold, select your layer and move it up. And select both layer in the player window and move it to a left. And for this new layers, let's type weekly updates. And for this layer, let's write all users. You can move the shape on the text layer to get a different look. So if you click on it and move the edge to a left. And move this layer to the right side. Or we can change the blend mode to get a different color. So now we are on a linear dash. So let's use a lighten. And for this layer, let's use a, a screen. Now it has a better color. Additionally, I want to add a text about the website to get access to this series. So for that, I want to use a a game style so let's check the game tab uh, I think this one is better because it has a glitch on it so click on click and drag it into the timeline and we have a two layers so we can uh, delete one of them because we don't need it press back space key on your keyboard and let's copy and paste our website so press ctrl v uh, we can make it uh, smaller by changing the font or we can click and drag the edge to the right or left side as you can see now it has a wall line 
let's make it smaller and put it under the logo for now we can adjust them later to get a better visual last but not least i want a, a vivid unlike button to attract viewers to take action i think a twin text is good for this part because it has a better performance and better visuals so to add a 3d text to your timeline we can use the t icon from here and add a quick 3d text or we can use the title effect in a title tab so if you click on it and select 3d title and let scroll down a bit and see which one is better for our project I think Razor 3D is good. Click and drag it in the timeline and put it here. Can make it smaller. So let's type unlike for the 3D text. And if you scroll down a bit, you can see we have uh, different materials for our 3D text. We can use the a, a 3D gold or you can use the silver. Silver is fine for this text. On the 3D animation tab, you can change the animation or you can adjust the duration to get a slower or faster animation. But for this poster, this animation is fine for me, but you can use uh, other if you want. Let's back to 3D basics. Now we have finished all the important info about the poster. So let's add some peaks to enrich the whole visual. Let's add the official logo to show authenticity. So add it to a timeline. And let's make it a smaller. And let's put it here. I think we can move a text to the downside and put it here. And these are our video editing series. We can add the relevant picture like this peak to highlight the town. So make it smaller and put it here but I think we should uh, put the picture under all layers so select all layers and move them a one track up and select the layer and move it down and put it on the track tool and let's make it a little bigger yeah now it's better and it's a little chaotic it now, so let's uh, adjust the position of the layers to get the better visuals. Also, we can make this to be a dynamic by adjusting tracks to see that all the parts appear from top to bottom. Move the layers to the right side. So first we should see the logo, then the user guide, and the three points, and the unlike, then the picture, and the website address. So uh, move the user guide title to the right side, then three points, then picture, and the unlike should be appear at the same time so select both of them and move them to the right side then website address and move it to the right side too and put it here so for the picture and the logo we can use the animation tab so select your picture and go to the animation tab on the right side and let's apply fade in animation so click and drag it into your picture and do it for a logo tool. So click and drag it on the logo. Now all done. And let's see the final poster together. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for using Filmora. And as always, stay creative. <music>